Welcome back to my channel guys. <clears throat> Today we're over in not far from uh well we're tip end of snow down here. We're not far from a place called Hlandegla on the horseshoe pass. So uh we're up the mountain and um just starting to rain a little bit it's very light it's quite warm it's, uh, 24 kilometers of the wind so i'm gonna probably get the um the drone up if i can um and get it up and over the slate mountains you can see in the distance um there's actually it's like a big pond and it's called the Blue, Blue Lagoon. So over the years, rainwaters came down between the slates and the water is like a turquoisey, or it used to be. Uh, I've walked over and seen it a few times. Uh, it's been there for years and years. So, um, so I am going to try and get the drone up if I can. Um, there is um, just got to be aware that there's a, a glider um, aerospace not a million miles away from here so uh, but there's other than that there's no other uh, restrictions I've got to worry about so we're um, just opposite the the cafe it's called the Ponderosa um the banker dave it's his favorite cafe um he sometimes comes over this area to um to have a coffee and a bit of food a bit of pie and chips so he lands his helicopter in the field and uh, gets permission from the owners to park and then he goes for a bite to eat and a, and a coffee um seen this clips a few times on youtube different social media channels uh this area it's great for family and um the weather can change a blink of the eye one minute can be fine the next minute it can be thunderstorming or snowing uh, so a great place to come though, great views all round, you can get a little bit windy as well at times, as you can see, a bit of a distance actually, you can see, you get sheep on the side of the road, there's sheep everywhere around here, uh, with, with it being North Wales, you've just got sheep grazing in the fields, so they're pretty free range. Get a lot of uh, motorbikes coming up here to the cafe, especially on a Sunday. In the winter, get a lot of people coming down and um, the kids playing in the snow. It's a typical mountain with lots of heather and um yeah bits of uh long grass and bumpy hills said so the uh the views around here is uh is pretty great we're about three mile or so away from uh langoflin and uh around about four miles away from Mould, North Wales. So we are probably about a mile and a half away from Plandegla itself. Wind is picking up a little bit now, but it is going to change within the hour from 24 kilometres down to about 14, so it is going to lower. There is spitting little bit of rain on the hills um, 
I'm going to try and get the drone up if we can and um, see if I can show you this blue lagoon. So I hope you like the video guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give us a thumbs up. And um, watch the video to the end because that's where you're going to get the uh, the aerial views of uh, the Horseshoe Pass and hopefully blue, the Blue Lagoon. I uh, hope you like the video. Until next time, we will speak to you again very soon. Right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're over in, uh, we're over at the Horseshoe Pass in North Wales, Snowdonia. So I'm um, just going to get the drone up again. Just have to change the battery and um, we're trying to find the, um, the blue, blue Lagoon it's called. So just going to get it up as it got a little bit of wind around here so just got to be careful. Currently about 75 miles up and it's telling me that the wind is quite windy. So I've just got to be careful and cautious. So as you can see, slate mountains everywhere. I am trying to find the Blue Lagoon. I've walked there several times over the years and uh, it's a bit like a huge pond. And the water is like a turquoisey colour and it sits between the slate mountains. Wind is picking up a little bit. I don't know if it's dried up over the years. It's a few years since I've been over here, to be honest. So I may be out of luck. It may have dried up or they may have sucked all the water up. I don't know. Um, but it used to be here. So we can actually get it a bit higher up so I can give you that 360 degree. Of the area. I'm pretty sure it used to be there, but that looks pretty dried up to me. Could be wrong, could be looking at the wrong place. go a bit further over we can find this blue lagoon that's just a load of water and craters plenty of sheep about as you can hear there's about four sheep running at the moment oh and there's a couple over there. It'd be a shame if I can't find it, put it that way. Um, I'm 
get the drone a little bit nearer to me and um, try again. You can see it's a vast uh, slate mountain around here. It's great. Oh, and there's sheep again shouting at me. And try and get the drone over nearer to me if I can. You can get a bit of footage of all these sheep everywhere. see there you can see the Ponderosa cafe in the distance Let's see all the cars there on the main a rows going up and over the mountain Some dickhead beeping because the sheep in the road got nothing better to do. See there guys, see the cafe there, where the banker Dave goes for his pie and chips and his cappuccino, it's one of his favourite locations to come in his helicopter, he comes over here from time to time, lands his helicopter goes in for a bite to eat you can see there you can see all the sheep so we're going to get it up the other way now i can't find that blue lagoon unless it's dried up over the years sorry i'm going to uh i'm going to get it the other way because i've never been that way before so i'm going to get it up to about About 40 meters.
and um, I'm going to head towards the uh, there's a telecommunications tower in front of me don't know how far I'll be able to get without interference uh, not very um Not very bright actually. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher. So the, as I'm climbing higher, I'm twelve hundred and seventy five foot above sea level at the moment. That's literally on the top of the mountain. Um at the Horseshoe Pass, so I'm pretty high up, but I can fly around here with no problems at all. There is a light aircraft glider sight around, but um, there's no restrictions around here at the moment. You can see there. You can see the control, ta uh, the um, telecommunications, the phone, mass in a distance. Uh, I don't know how far I'm going to get. I'm about a thousand meters away now. I don't want to be getting too high up because of the wind. It is dropping. Twelve hundred meters away from me. Maximum flight altitude I can't get any higher than that. I'm twelve hundred and twenty meters, um, and that is my max. So, as you can see there, guys, you can see the mass at a distance. I'm just going to give you a bit of a 360 view of the area. Sky is very dark. So, um, as you can see there, you can see better now. Maximum flight altitude reached. Maximum flight I'm going to go down a little bit. As you can see there, I'm a bit of away from the cafe. Going to uh, head back towards their uh, location now. It's about fourteen hundred meters away. I was. It's probably nearly two thousand meters away. That mass. It doesn't look that far away, but it is. was a bit of a blockage a few minutes ago. I'm going to stay well away from there. There's one thing I don't want today is a block. Even though my home point has been updated. As you can see from a distance, the car park is not really that busy today. It is late afternoon. Plenty of people in the cafe having a bite to eat and a hot drink.
motor bikes are turning up. You'll see them in a minute. You can see there guys, you can see a few of the motorbikes. Another motorbike just about coming in. Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up now. So I'll give you a last 360 of the area. All the mountain views. See the sheep in the distance. this one up please subscribe to my channel please um, please subscribe to my channel please give us a thumbs up I've got to get the drone back because the battery is getting very low so until next time we'll speak to you again very soon